is Willow. She fell in love with Rob. My mom married us after a month of dating. It was just meant, meant to be. And their 35 year age gap means that they often encounter online scrutiny. They call me the Black Widow. They're all still alive. I don't know why they're calling me that. Sorry, babe. <laughs> I may be the first. No! Today they will be finding out what Willow's mum really thinks of their relationship. How did you feel when I told you about me and Robbie? Honestly. Um. My mom's smiling because we're all just so happy. She, that's the biggest smile ever, but now you see where I get my smile from. It was a great day. I know. Look at us. I'm Willow, and this is my husband, Rob, and my mom married us after a month of dating. We dated for 30 days and said, you know what, when it's right, it's right. We actually met on Tinder four years ago. But in a short time, she met somebody and I met somebody, and because we were across the country, we couldn't get together. So we, we pretty much bounced back and forth with FaceTime and text messages. For God, almost four years. This past December, I got booked to do a music video, and so I came down. I'm supposed to go to bed early, and I didn't want to. So I was like, "Who is in Los Angeles that I know?" I was like, "Robbie." I was yeah. actually half asleep. I was laying down. I was exhausted, and I heard her voice saying that she's in LA, and probably the fastest shower and hair blowout I've ever done in 60 years. She pretty much moved in uh, three hours into our first date. I, I think um, it was just meant, meant to be. Now there are people on the internet that were like... Haters. Yeah, they call me the Black Widow because I this is my like second or third like age gap relationship. And they're all still alive. I don't know why they're calling me that. Sorry, babe. <laughs> I may be the first. <laughs> no! Our wedding day was incredibly casual. It was just focusing on pretty much how we love each other and that's it. Focused on her. We got married at the Beverly Hills Park in front of the sign. It was perfect. I'd been married before and my late mother, while I was going through my divorce, she said, Robbie, would you ever get married again? And I said, mom, if I get married again, the woman I marry hasn't been born yet. And my mother left. And here we are. And that was 25 years ago, and we got married when I was 24. He spoke that into existence. Yeah, yeah. Her, her entire life, I have been single. Think about it, 25 years I've been single. Her entire life, since she was an infant, I was a single guy. Before I was discovered musically, I was a orchestra girl, I could play the double bass and the cello and a little viola, a little violin. I'd never sang before in my life. I had like a fear of it. I was terrified too. I thought I didn't have a good voice. She's fabulous. What can I say? And then they put me in the studio. Like the song that came out, they wouldn't even put auto-tune on it. That's just like, I begged them to, but they didn't. And now I'm glad that they didn't because I have more confidence in myself. A lot of people do assume that I need him to take care of me or I'm using him or he's a sugar daddy and that's not the case at all. My music is taking off and yeah, we have a really healthy, balanced relationship. This is my sweet baby girl. Her name is Genevieve Angeline. She had SMA type one, so she was very sick and they told me she had a 5% chance of making it to two years old. So. Every single day, I would start off with rainbow lights and dance music, and she was paralyzed and on a respirator, and this was during COVID as well. So we couldn't go outside, I couldn't take her anywhere. And unfortunately, she passed away uh, about almost two years ago, it'll be two years in May. I gave her absolute best life I possibly could. I'm, that's one area of my life I have no regrets on. I was, I was a good mom, yeah. Yeah, that's my girl. It's my bestie. She's so cute, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I did a good job making her. Let's call your mommy. Hey, mom. Hi. How you doing, lady? 
great. And so how did you feel when I told you about me and Robbie? Honestly. Um, I wasn't surprised. <laughs> I know that you like someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. And doesn't play head games and has yeah. had experiences in life and can, you know, just be themselves around you. It's like he's just unapologetically himself. Would you have been happier with her dating people her own age? No, no, not at all. Why? Uh, I've seen those guys. Guys her age are very immature and stupid and they don't really have their life together and they meander. And Willow's not a meander. I love meander, by the way. Like I remember wandering? when meander came out, I was there. <laughs> I have a question. Would what? you? I think at some point in the future, absolutely. I think it's gonna be in many a year's time because I, I don't know. I think I would still feel guilty about loving another child. Healing takes time, I don't know. For me, based on my age, three to four years would be okay with me. Anything longer than that, I could probably break a hip changing a diaper. <laughs> Why did you decide to marry us? It was an adventure and yeah. people don't really remember gifts as well. You will always remember that I married you. Or she will always hate you until you die from marrying us. It could really go either way, you know. Happy wife, happy life. He knows the rules already, which is why I got one that's seasoned. She trained me well. No, the last two did. <laughs> okay, third time's a charm. How would you describe our relationship? Be, to be totally honest. That, that actually got me a little misty. That, I, can't I, got, I got a lump in my throat just now with you saying that. <laughs> All right, I love you, bye. Thank you, bye. When I first met you, I couldn't believe it was true. Rob has changed my life for the better in so many ways. Now you do all the things that you do. I'm now loving literally every single second of every moment. Oh, I'm so happy all the time. Has she changed my life? She's completed it. Oh. I'm done. And I thank you, babe, for being mine.